Evaluate the results of experiments to do with enthalpy change. Well, you've probably done this one, where you uh, had the theoretical data for the change in energy of combustion of methanol, for example, or STP. And let's say the theoretical value is minus 726. That's what it says in the data booklet anyway. Uh, you did the experiment, and it's really, really, it's rubbish, isn't it? Well, don't be tempted to fiddle your data. I'll tell you why. Because if you have a percent error of less than 40%, we know that you probably fiddle that data. So why was it such a, such a bad experiment? So why do you have such a large percentage error? Well, the main reason is that not all of the energy from the combustion was transferred to the water. Notice that my insulation is imperfect. There's a gap here. Uh, heat can be lost from the hole at the top there. So the water's not going to get as hot as it should do. The thermometer itself heats up a little bit. That's not much of an error. But I'm also heating up the can. I've not accounted for the specific heat capacity of aluminium and not measured the temperature rise of the aluminium. It was also incomplete combustion. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> it didn't break. It was also incomplete combustion. There's carbon at the bottom. It's supposed to be making carbon dioxide and water. And some idiot left the wind... Hold on. And some idiot left the window open, and that caused a breeze that blew away some of the heat. So you need some draft excluders, some card there, some card there, at least, to prevent drafts.